Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. In this video, I want to offer five reasons why you should accept the mysteries of light, the luminous mysteries of the rosary. In another longer video, I'm going to give a more fuller explanation for this. But today, I want to be able to offer five punchy reasons why you should accept the five mysteries of light, answering the common objections to them. Okay, the first reason is that the Rosary is no longer about the 150 Psalms. Before St. Dominic had his apparition of Our Lady, the Rosary, or set of prayer beads, were used in monasteries to keep track of the 150 Psalm prayers that were being recited. Those who couldn't read prayed these beads, saying prayers on the 150 beads of that set of prayer beads. But the rosary is no longer about that and it hasn't been for a long time. Just to count the number of beads on your rosary and you'll see that there's way more than 150 if you have a full 15 decade rosary as it were. It's got way more than 150 beads on it now. I think it's got maybe 175 beads on it now. So it's no longer about keeping track of the psalm prayers. And furthermore, that's not what you do with the rosary. The rosary is no longer about keeping track with the prayers being recited by the other monks in the chapel. So that argument I don't think follows, and that's going to become even more apparent in the next few points. Okay, the second reason relates to St. Dominic. St. Dominic was not given by Our Lady a set of 15 mysteries. What St. Dominic was given by Our Lady was a method to convert the Albigensian heretics. And the method to convert them was to gather people in a church, to announce a mystery, to talk about the mystery, and then to get people to meditate on the mystery while ten Hail Marys were recited. That was St. Dominic's method that he re received from Our Lady. And he was given, and he used beads so that people could keep track of those ten Hail Marys while the mystery was being meditated upon. So St. Dominic was not historically, evidentially, it does not seem St. Dominic was given 15 specific mysteries. Rather, he was given a method. And that method can be used with an extra five mysteries if they are added by, let's say, a saint, a pope, or Our Lady herself. Okay, third reason, building on from the last point. We know that the Rosary did not have 15 specific mysteries attached to them because archaeology, images, and literature all show that the mysteries of the rosary were not completely fixed down until the 18th century, even the 20th century, to be honest. Even the 20th century, there's still some variation in the names given for various mysteries of the rosary. I'm going to put the evidence for this in my next video on the subject of the mysteries of light. For this moment, you just got to trust me on it, that the evidence shows when you read the books, the first printed books that mention the rosary, they all disagree on many of the mysteries. Particularly, they disagree over the fourth joyful mystery, whether that should be the presentation or whether it should be the adoration of the Magi. They disagree over the sorrowful mysteries, what they should be. They disagree also what the fifth glorious mystery should be, whether it should be the final judgment, whether it should be the coronation of Our Lady in heaven. So all this suggests quite strongly that St. Dominic wasn't given 15 specific mysteries. Rather, he was given a method, a method of prayer and meditation in order to counter the Albigensian heretics. Okay, next point. The saints supported praying different mysteries of the Rosary. In particular, St. Louis-Marie de Montfort, the greatest preacher of the Rosary. In his book, Methods of Praying the Rosary, he considers that the person who's praying should look at other aspects of our Lord's life. Furthermore, in another section of Methods of Praying the Rosary, he, in the fifth joyful mystery, suggests during the fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the boy Jesus in the temple, you might like to think about the baptism of our Lord 
in the Jordan. You might like to think about our Lord's miracles. You might like to think about the Last Supper and the wedding feast of Cana. So he tries to include things later in our Lord's life in that fifth joyful mystery. Not only St. Louis Marie de Montfort, but also other saints and blessed. St. George Precker, he was particularly the individual who proposed the five mysteries of light. Frank Duff, servant of God, he said it would be better if there were another five mysteries of the rosary to expand the area that we meditate on in our Lord and our Lady's lives. So there's a number of saints and blessed who anticipate and think it will be a good thing to have five extra mysteries of the rosary. Okay, the fifth reason, perhaps the most controversial, most challenging, a Pope does have authority to propose five new mysteries for the rosary. We've already seen how St. Dominic was given a method to pray rather than 15 mysteries in particular in concrete and so the idea of a pope proposing five more mysteries is not going against our lady's wish that a specific set of 15 should only be meditated upon also we're no longer bound by those 150 Hail Marys because the rosaries long since had more than 150 prayers to it. And furthermore, when the monks were praying those Hail Marys, they only consisted of the first half of the Hail Mary. It wasn't even the full Hail Mary as we know it today. Neither did it feature the holy name of our Lord. Neither did the, the prayer beads feature in the days of the monks, the Glory Be, the Our Father, the Fatima prayer. So the rosary has changed and the Pope has authority to propose to offer five more mysteries. The Pope has this authority as Supreme Pontiff. Okay, we might not all like the new mass. We might not all think it was a good thing or that it's more as reverent as the old mass. But I think everyone has to accept that the Pope had authority to propose a new Mass. Just as we all accept that Pope Pius XII had authority to propose a new set of Holy Week liturgies, a new Triduum. So the Pope has authority over liturgical prayers, prayers of the Church, and indeed the Rosary is an ecclesial prayer. It's a prayer prayed by the entire Church. And so it's right that the Pope should have the ability to propose for the benefit of the faithful five extra mysteries. I've shown how it's not anti-traditional to pray on additional mysteries, but it would be confusing, it would be chaos if there were no fixed mysteries at all. You could go in the church and someone would say, oh, we're going to say the five joyful mysteries. And you get to the fourth joyful mystery and half of the people would be thinking, oh, it's going to be the the presentation in the temple. And another half would be thinking, oh, it's going to be the, the Magi adoring our Lord. It's right for the prayers of the rosary, the mysteries of the rosary to be fixed for universal use. That's a good thing. And it's only the church the church centrally that can do that, that can give us a defined list of mysteries to meditate upon when we come together to pray the Holy Rosary. And Pope John Paul II, drawing from the fact that the saints had suggested it was a good thing to pray extra mysteries, drawing from that and drawing from the fact that it would actually be a benef beneficial thing in the spiritual life to look at these additional events, he proposed these five mysteries of light. They are a good thing. There's no reason why we should be opposed to them. Indeed, when someone says to me, why do, why do you pray the five mysteries of light? My first answer and response to them is always to say, well, I pray the 20 mysteries every day. If you want to, would you rather that I just prayed 15 mysteries? And, and even then, normally, someone that's against the mysteries of light, they think to themselves, well, actually, it's better to say 20 mysteries than it is to say just 15, because it's 15 more minutes or so with Our Lady, in Our Lady's company, meditating with her, looking from her eyes upon the events of the life of her son. We could have more debates about the mysteries that John Paul chose for the mysteries of light. Maybe they weren't the best ones. Maybe other ones could have been used. But I think 
the Pope had the authority to propose those mysteries. They're not mysteries that are against Our Lady's intention, because Our Lady proposed a method to St. Dominic, not a set of 15 mysteries. And that's a fact that's drawn out by literary evidence and by pictorial evidence, by iconography, that there were not 15 set in stone mysteries, not really even until the 20th century. Because if you look at some people, even in the 20th century, like the writings of Sister Lucia Fatima, you see that actually her set of 15 mysteries is a little bit different from the one that we generally use. So I think I've said enough on the subject. I'm, ha I'm gonna be making, I have indeed already made, a full length video which really outlines all these things in greater detail, but I wanted to make something shorter to give the five main reasons. May Almighty God bless you and Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.